And I want to explore with you a, a particular syndrome that I think we need to be watchful about as we continue on this trajectory, and that is the tall poppy syndrome. But I was struck by something from the reading from the Bhagavad Gita, which I just like to look at. It, it, it's 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 speaking about right action and not the not the attachment to the results or the fruits. And then there's this beautiful phrase: seek refuge in thy soul. Have there thy heaven. Isn't that an amazing thing for us to agree on, perhaps, or just simply acknowledge that our understanding and our service comes from the very depth of our soul? There is a beat, there is a rhythm, there is a vibration, there is a pulsation that is stronger in our experience, if I may acknowledge that, if it's, if it's acceptable to you, that is inviting us to bypass the educated mind. Now, the tall poppy syndrome is a way of describing a strange condition in the awakening cycle of this movement into the beauty and the uh, crystal clarity of the light. And it is that uh, aspect of experience which thinks it knows. It's the educated mind that was participating in, a, in an experience of awakening, being very much drawn to know a state of fusion and oneness, but got kind of educated along the way. Now, the tall puppy syndrome is an attitude, and I, I invite you to just meditate on this with me for a moment, because I catch myself in the tall puppy syndrome in very subtle and insidious ways. It's the way that you look and think you understand another person's journey. It's the way that, um, let's say I for myself have in the, pro in the desire to serve, have gained some kind of wisdom. But when it's the wisdom of the outer mind that can say wise things, which is very different from Mother Mary's invitation to let it be whispering, words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, coming from the depths of our soul, it begins to reveal, as I, I recognize for myself, that my heart wants to crack open far more than it ever has before, because I ha I'm, we're all hardwired to actually do something in this world, serve humanity in a way that's actually going to bring, take us to where we need to go. And in the very depth of our soul and in the center of the sun, of the brightness of the shining of the light and the fire of our passion, in that deep place, that high place, we recognize that we're holding the world in our attunement hands. Our heart and our hands are pivotal in whether we make it easy for the people on, on our vibrational line, individually and together, to somehow experience the magic of a transformation and awakening that, they, that, they, that just like ourselves could not have second guessed. And it bypasses, if it will, with us, the tall puppy syndrome of assessing and projecting and objectifying what, who we, how we think somebody else is doing and then holding them in that limited frame of consciousness. I say, don't do that. Who am I speaking to? I am saying that to myself, and you are listening, and you can say to yourself exactly how that lands for you. We cannot stand stuck in a crystallized mental consciousness that holds people in any way in a frame of limitation, because who lives at the core of their soul? It's, I want to say this, it's the high priest of this collective body. It's the it's the presence of the one who dwells for all of us. And so we have this beautiful gift of addressing our own shadows, addressing those aspects that have got fixated in my consciousness and perhaps yours, which now can be given thanks for because we get to heal the world from the inside out in the privacy of our own living room. 